Welcome to another installment of Madman Rant, your boy Fabian. In this show, I put in my two cents and me and business where like it. Good. Now, from the last episode, I've been getting some comments on the YouTube and on the Facebook. And I will try to address one or two of them right here, right now. So, let me reach for the cell phone. All right, first I need to pour on my glasses because... Your boy getting old and thing now, the vision ain't too pram pram as, as it used to be. Right? Good. Nice. So yeah, we're on the cell phone. Now we're checking out the question. First question. Fabian, what is Madman Rant really about? Boy, between you and me, I really don't know, you know. But we go see how it go, okay? Good. Don't get no horrors. Watch this piece. Things are about to get better. Nice. Second question. What do you think about the game between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Curacao in their first World Cup qualifier? Good question. Now, for those of you who don't know, St. Vincent and the Grenadines played Curacao in the opening game of the World Cup qualifying round. Needless to say, the score was 5 Curacao, 0 St. Vincent. Them boys get beaten quite efficiently. Now, I don't want to start off this madman rant criticizing and bigging up the negative and all that kind of thing. So, let me look for something positive that, from that game. Right. Positive. 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 Aha, uh -huh. I get it. Them uniforms in Vincent Ware, boy, they look real good. Kudos to whoever idea it was to get them that uniform. If you can't play good, you could look good, right? And St. Vincent and the Grenadines look good in the kit, must say. So, big up to whoever was responsible for getting them that kit. You were really on the ball with that one. Wish I could see the same for the team itself. But anyhow, keeping it positive. So good luck SVG in the next game and looking forward to bet or they're playing British Virgin Islands, BVI. So, tough start, but we're back in all this still. Can okay, I say keep doing what you're doing, but looking for better. Nice. Uh-huh. So next question. Somebody asking, how do you think the Soka Warriors feared against Guyana? Well, needless to say, they won the game 3-0. Um, it was not a very impressive performance. But we're glad for the win still. You know, good start. Certain things need sharpening up. There were some unforced errors in the back, but, you know. Glad for the clean sheet. Glad for the scoreline. Good luck on the next game. Yeah? Good. I want to make this channel about sports and football alone. You know, a variety of things. So we're checking for some more questions. And now for the last question. Fabian, in recent times, have you seen any good horror movies? If so, what are they? Hmm. In recent times. Well, for those of you who don't know, I'm a horror fan. I'm a movie fan, but I really like horror movies. So I'm a fan of, you know, the vintage horror movies. I think Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, Omen, you know, the classics. But in recent times, let me say the last five or six years, let me see, Insidious, Insidious. The first one, the others were okay, but I think that first one really hit the spot. Ah, uh, Conjuring, one and two, very good, both of them. Uh, Lights Out. A very good horror movie on a low budget. I must say I was very impressed. Um, <laughs> Hereditary. Now that is a classic horror. Within recent times, I think that was one of the best ones made. And uh, Get Out. That one hit me by surprise. And I was impressed with what they were able to come up with. Jordan Peele, good job. And for, let me see, let me get one more, last one. 
Sinister. Clever premise. If you haven't seen it, you should take a look at it. There's a mixed bag. Some people say they didn't like it. Some people did. But I liked it personally. So yeah. So Sinister. Get Out. Her Hereditary. Conjuring 1 and 2. Insidious. And Lights Out. Okay? So feel free to leave any comments. What are your favorite horrors you have seen in recent times? And I'll make sure to take a look at it and tell you whether you're on point or in my opinion, you're nah, negative. Okay? That was Madman Rant. I just put in my two cents and you could put that in your pipe and smoke it.